everybody. We are students from American University of Armenia. I'm Ala. I'm Yura. I'm Haikuhi. I'm Mary. I'm Mariam. I'm Alvina. I'm Ari. Today we are going to tell you about our country, Armenia. You'll not see us again, but you'll hear our voices through the pictures. Let's go! Armenia, officially the Republic of Armenia, is a mountainous country in the South Caucasus region of Eurasia. Located at the crossroads of Western Asia and Eastern Europe, it is bordered by Turkey to the west, Georgia to the north, Azerbaijan to the east. A land of rugged mountains and extinct volcanoes, its highest point is Mount Aragat. One of the world's oldest civilizations, Armenia once included Mount Ararat, which biblical tradition identifies as the mountain that Noah's Ark rested on after the flood. Armenia is a unitary democratic nation-state with an ancient cultural heritage, in which the population is estimated nearly 3 million people. The Kingdom of Armenia was established in the 6th century BC, after the fall of Urartu. It became the first state in the world to adopt Christianity as its religion in the early years of the 4th century. The traditional date of it is 301 AD. For this reason, Armenia is often called the first Christian nation. An Armenian principality and later a kingdom known as Cilician Armenia existed on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea between the 11th and 14th centuries. By the 19th century, the traditional Armenian homeland was divided between the Ottoman and Russian empires. During the World War I, the Armenians living in their ancestral lands in the Ottoman Empire were systematically exterminated in the Armenian Genocide. After almost 600 years of statelessness, Armenia was able to become independent in 1918. Between 1920 and 1991, Armenia was part of the Soviet Union. The modern Republic of Armenia became independent in 1991. The Republic of Armenia recognizes the Armenian Apostolic Church, the world's oldest national church, as the country's primary religious establishment. Armenians have their own unique alphabet, invented by Mesrop Mashtots in 405 AD. The capital of Armenia is Yerevan. Tourist sites of Armenia. Echmiadzin. Echmiadzin Cathedral was listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2000. Armenia became the first country in the world to adopt Christianity as a state religion in 301. According to History of Armenians, by Armenia's patron, St. Gregory's Illuminator had a vision of Jesus Christ de uh, descending from heaven and striking the earth with a golden hammer to show where the cathedral should be built. Sardarapad Memorial Sardarapad Memorial is a memorial complex to the Battle of Sardarapad located in the village of Arax in the Armavir province of Armenia. Sardarapad Memorial is a symbol of pride and survival. The Sardarapad Memorial marks the place of Armenia's successful effort to save the nation from genocide at the hand of Turks in the Battle of Sardarapad on May 22, 26, 1980. Temple of Garni it's the only pagan temple in Armenia that survived the, the Christianization of country in 301 AD. Like Greco-Roman temples, it's made of basalt. The actual building is a, a peripterous temple resting of an elevated podium and was most likely dedicated to god Mihar. Gerhard. The monastery of Gerhard is a unique architectural construction in the Gothic province of Armenia, being partially carved out of uh, adjacent mountain surrounding by cliffs, uh, it is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lake Sevan. Lake Sevan is, a, is the largest lake in Armenia. It's one of the largest freshwater high altitude lakes in the world. Lake Sevan is situated in the central part of Republic of Armenia inside the uh, Gerarkunik province at the altitude of 1,900 meters above the sea level. The total surface area of its basin is about 5,000 square, square kilometers. The lake itself is 940 square kilometers. Horvirab. Horvirab, meaning deep pit or deep well, is an Armenian uh, apostolic church monastery located in the Ararat Valley in Armenia. 
Noravang. Noravang, meaning new monastery in Armenian, is a 13th century Armenian monastery, the grand structure in Surbastvatsin, Holy Mother of God. Tatev. The Tatev Monastery is a 9th century monastery located on a large basalt plateau near the Tatev village in Sionik province in southern Armenia. The monastery is the best known site in Sionik. Wings of Tatev, a cableway from Tatev to Halizor village, was opened in October 2010. It was included in the Guinness World Records as the world's longest non stop double track cable car. Over the years, Armenia has developed a modern, unique and successful culture. Many aspects of the culture are based on geography, literature, dance and music of the people. Armenian culture has strong influences from both its eastern neighbors as well as an underlying influence from Europe to the west. Armenian cuisine is a combination of different tastes and aromas, intimately related to Eastern and Mediterranean culinary art, various spices, vegetables, fish and fruits combined to present unique dishes. Armenia is also famous for its wine and brandy, in particular Armenian coconut. The Armenian dance heritage has been one of the oldest riches, the most varied in the Near East. The National Art Gallery in Yerevan has more than 6,000 works that date back to the Middle Ages, which indicate Armenians rich tales and stories of the time. It tops paintings by many European masters as well. The Modern Art Museum, the Children Pictures Gallery, the Martyrosaran Museum are only a few of the other noteworthy collections of the fine art on display in Yerevan. One of the most important parts of Armenian culture is music, which has in recent years brought new forms of music while maintaining traditional styles too. This is evidenced by the world classic Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra that performs at the beautifully refurbished Yerevan Opera House. Classical music can also be heard at one of several smaller venues, including the Yerevan State Musical Conservatory and the Chamber Orchestra Hall. Jazz is popular, especially in summer when live performances are a regular occurrence at one of the city's many outdoor cafes and parks. The Armenian language has been spoken since at least 800 BC, yet it has continued to devel develop over the centuries. Trade and conquest forced the language to change, adding new words into the people's vocabulary. Literature and books written in Armenian appeared by the 4th century. The written language of that time, called Classical Armenian or Grapar, remained the Armenian literary language with various change until the 19th century. Many dialects appeared when Armenian Ameri Armenian com communities became separated by geography or politics, and not all of these dialects are mutually intelligible. Armenian's culture has seen a lot of exchange and change through the centuries, yet its core values depending upon the existence of large joint families. Armenian culture has is a perfect amalgamation of the best achievements of the past with the high hopes of future. Armenian dance. The Armenian dance has been one of the oldest, richest, beautiful and most varied in the Near East. From 5th to 3rd millennium BC, in the high regions of Armenia, in Arad, there are found rock paintings of scenes of country dancing. Traditional dancing is still popular among Armenians. The majority of people feel something special about Armenian dances, an impatience and the eloquence which they embody. Many people say that the grace of women are thoroughly shown in Armenian dances. Armenian dances are majestic, like the mountains. They include struggle with life and enemy, but at the same time, they serve the beauty with all its standards. All the dancers wear the traditional costumes to embody the history of that culture and bring their ancestor stories alive. The traditional red color gives the dance brightness and royalty. The beautiful movements of Armenian dance are adored by all audiences around the world. We can name some of the dances like Kochari, is one of the popular dances in Armenia. It is danced by men and women and is known for its tune played in the Zurna. Shalaho, a dance for men in ancient Armenia, but can be danced by women as well. Bert, Bert means fortress and in Armenian it is named accordingly by the shape of their dance. Harsnapar comes from the Armenian word Hars, which means bright. Menapar dance 
when one person is dancing. We have also Shihani, Shurchbar, uh, Lorke and 100 other dances. We also have religious dances. Some of them come from ancient times when Armenians were pagans. After 3rd century, those dances were mixed, but are still remaining. In its religious dances, you can feel this disobedient and brave soul of Armenians. Religious dances include clappings of hands and other musical instruments. Examples of religious dances are Mush, Sasnapar, Arabki and others. Armenian Religious Holidays Christmas in Armenian Surps and It is celebrated on January 6 and the birthday of Christ is celebrated as one of the most important religious holidays. This holiday is taking place both at home and at church. Many Armenian people go to the church on Christmas Eve and the next morning. The traditional Christmas food is fish, meat and rice and generally it is served with wine. Another significant religious holiday is St. Sarkis. It is celebrated on February 7, and it is a very popular holiday nowadays, especially for young people. They believe that at the night of St. Sarkis, their dream will tell about the... Armenians believe that St. Sarkis appears on the radiant horse with a golden helmet and silver shield. Also, people put a flower outside with the dream that St. Sarkis will ride through it. Easter in Armenian Zatik, it has a changeable date and during this holiday, Armenians are celebrating the resurrection of Christ. The holiday includes drawing eggs in different colors, eating fish and going to the church. Purification, which is in Armenian Terandes, it also has a changeable date and the idea of this religious holiday is that people are coming to the Lord with fire after 40 days of his birth. The main ceremony is that Armenians jump over the fire and symbolize the coming of spring. Finally, Transfiguration, which is in Armenian Vartavar. It is celebrated on July 19 and it is the holiday of water. This religious holiday is still actual today and it is celebrated by the whole nation. In modern days, people jump in the water or floor everyone on their way with this water. However, nobody must be felt offended or displeased during the day. The echoing sound of the duduk, a flute made of apricot tree, is the symbol of Armenian identity. The origin of the dudu goes back to the times before Christ. It has a warm, soft, slightly nasal timbre of flute tone. This instrument is equally used for slow lyrical tunes and faster dance tunes, and it is also played solo. The Armenian duduk has truly become a part of everyday life in Armenia. In fact, it would not be an exaggeration to say that no wedding, festive occasion or family gathering would be complete without a duduk player. Jivan Gasparian, one of the greatest musicians, is the foremost master of the duduk. Thanks to his big investment into musical area, Armenian music has received a widespread international attention. In major times, Armenian duduk is played with the hall and zurna, led by Armenian dance. Zurna is an ancient, traditional woodwind that can mostly easily be described as being a dowdle reading trumpet. While the instrument is generally believed to have its origins in China, variations all along with their various names can be found throughout Asia, Central Asia, the Middle East, the Balkans as well as in Caucasus. This is most definitely the fact that in Armenia where the Zurna has deep roots in the traditional culture. In the past, Zurna was played during harvest, holidays, outdoor gatherings, weddings. Today, just as it did in the past, 
The Zurna still has an important place in the musical culture and can be heard at weddings and festivals throughout Armenia. As with the Duduk, the Armenian Zurna is most commonly played in pairs, with one musician playing the lead melody and the other playing a continual drone note, called the dam, that is held, held by circular breathing. However, unlike the duduk which often plays without percussion, the zurna is almost always accompanied with the dehol, the traditional double-sided drum. Arna Babajanyan left a huge musical heritage in the Armenian folk genre. He not only composed in folk genre but also in classic, pop, jazz, etc. He is one of those individuals who are called to represent the whole nation, its fate and the spirit of life lifetime. His songs were also used in the films as soundtracks and became very popular in the world. If you want to know better Armenia, you will need to know its kitchen, its cuisine. Armenian kitchen or cuisine includes the foods, dishes, cooking materials and techniques of the Armenian people. It was influenced by outsiders. Armenian cuisine imitates traditional crops, history, animals grown there, and geography where Armenians have lived for millions of years. The preparation of dishes in Armenian kitchen needs stuffing, frothing, and pureeing. Lamb, eggplant, mayonnaise, yogurt, and bread, especially Armenian lavash, are basic features of Armenian cuisine. Armenian cuisine belongs to the family of Middle Eastern cuisines and is similar to Turkish, Persian, and Arabic. Meals in Armenia often start with different appetizers served in the table, such as various types of cheese, vegetables, pickles, and fresh herbs. After these appetizers are salads. Some Armenian salads are served with tomato, onions, and fresh herbs. Mayonnaise is used in Western or Russian-inspired salads, such as salad olivia. Examples of Armenian salads include etch and lentil salad. Etch is similar to Middle Eastern tabule. Grilling is very popular in Armenia, and grilled meats are often the main served dishes in restaurants and at family gatherings. Grilled meat is also a fast food. The Armenian fast food is Khorovat, the most representative dish of Armenian cuisine enjoyed in restaurants and family gatherings. In Armenia itself, Khorovat is often made with a bone still in the meat. Western Armenians outside Armenia generally cook the meat with bones taken out and call it by the Turkish name shish kebab. In Armenia today, the most popular meat for Khorovats is pork. Outside Armenia usually prefer lamb or beef depending on their background, and chicken is also popular. Another Armenian fast food is Kharsi Khorovats, which is related to Turkish grilled meats. The word Gars takes its name from the city of Gars in eastern Turkey, close to the Armenian border. Now about Armenian soups. Armenian soups include spas, made from yogurt, held wheat and herbs, and aveluk, made from lentils and walnuts. Another soup is khash. Songs and poems have been written about this one dish, which is made from cow's feet and herbs. According to tradition, hash can only be cooked by men who spend the whole night cooking and can be eaten only in the early morning. In Armenia, fishing is not favorite among people. Ishkan and Sig are well-known types of fish in Armenia, both of them taken from Lake Sevan. For more festive times, Armenians make harissa, which is one of the favorite dishes at Easter, Christmas and the New Year.